this is the old landfill in Fort McMurray. It's been closed for about two years now. Um, so we're just in the process of installing an aerobic uh, landfill system. So we're converting the uh, methane in the landfill to carbon dioxide and reducing our carbon footprint by about 20 times. Well, carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas and that's how greenhouse gas is typically measured. That's the standard unit. Uh, but methane gas has a carbon dioxide equivalency of 20. So it's significantly worse for climate change. So again, we're reducing by a factor of 20 our, our carbon footprint. Well, what we're doing is we're, we're adding air and water to the landfill cell under a recirculation system. And that provides oxygen in an, in an environment in the landfill that normally doesn't have oxygen. So the methane gas forms when there's no oxygen. So with the oxygen, we form carbon dioxide instead. And uh, so therefore we have the 20 times reduction. You know, it's, it's, it's a simple system, but it's, it's a big system. We're installing about 1,800 wells to inject the water through the landfill. This is the first use of this technology in Canada, and it's the largest application of it to date. It's been done at 17 smaller sites in the United States. Uh, so it's approved down there by the environmental regulators and, and the provincial environmental regulator, Alberta Environment Sustainable Resources, has approved its uh, utilization here at our landfill. So it is the first application of it in Canada. Um, you know, we, we expect a 200% return on this project from the initial investment, and that comes in the form of uh, carbon credits. And the municipality can decide what to do with those credits. Uh, they can either sell them on the open market or they can use them as part of their, their carbon reduction plan for the municipality or, or a combination of both. So there's lots of uh, opportunity and choice with, with the carbon credits that we get from this.